Zinedine Zidane hint on replacing Eric Ten Hag at Manchester United after training ground visit. Zinedine Zidane has not been in management since leaving Real Madrid in May 2021, but he has once again been linked to Manchester United with Eric Ten Hag under pressure. Zinedine Zidane has admitted he is open to a long-awaited return to management after speculation linking him to Manchester United resurfaced. Zidane has been without a job since leaving Real Madrid for the second time in May 2021. The 52-year-old Frenchman has been linked with several roles in the past three years, including United, Bayern Munich, and the national team jobs at United States, Brazil, and Algeria, but is still biding his time. He sparked rumors that he could be preparing for a return to the dugout this week when he was spotted attending a training session at Real Betis. It comes amid pressure on Eric Ten Hag at United following a poor start to the season, just months after the club's new leadership team openly courted other managers. Thomas Tuchel, Graham Potter and Gareth Southgate were among those considered by Sir Jim Ratcliffe and his advisors, while L'Equipe stated that Zidane was also interested in taking over from Ten Hag. In the end, Ten Hag was given a stay of execution, but the Dutchman remains on shaky ground after the 3-0 thrashing by Liverpool at Old Trafford. At the premiere of a film about his former Juventus manager, Marcelo Lippi, in February, Zidane was asked if he would return to coaching. He replied, Why not? Anything can happen. Now I'm doing other things, but we'll see. I'd certainly like to return to the bench. Zidane has only ever managed at Real Madrid so far in his coaching career, but was incredibly successful over his two spells at the club. The former midfielder won two La Liga titles and three Champions League titles before walking away at the end of the 2020-21 campaign. He has taken an unusually long time out since then, but his ethos is clear. He will only return for the right opportunity. Never say never, Zidane told L'Equipe in 2022. Especially when you are a coach today. If I go back to a club, it is to win. I say this with all modesty. That's why I can't just go anywhere. For other reasons, too. Certain conditions make things more difficult. When someone says to me, do you want to go to Manchester United? I understand English, but I don't fully master it. I know there are coaches who go to clubs without speaking the language, but I work differently. To win, many elements come into play. It's a global context. I know what I need to win. Of course, I might not always win, but I know that you need to have this, this, and this. And I want to do everything on my side to optimize my chances of victory. Zinedine Zidane has sparked rumors about potentially replacing Eric Ten Hag at Manchester United after a recent visit to the club's training ground. Zidane, who has been out of management since leaving Real Madrid in 2021, has long been linked with the Manchester United job due to his reputation as one of the best managers in modern football. His visit has intensified speculation, especially with Ten Hag under pressure following a rocky start to the season. Ten Hag, who led United to two trophies in as many seasons, is finding it increasingly difficult to replicate his previous success. Poor form, injuries, and questionable tactical decisions have led to murmurs that his position might not be as secure as it once seemed. The defeats to Liverpool and the unconvincing performances in the early games of the Premier League campaign have fueled those doubts. Zidane's presence at United's training ground has reignited discussions about whether he could be the ideal candidate to take over should the club decide to part ways with Ten Hag. Known for his calm demeanor, tactical news, and ability to handle high-profile players, Zidane might be seen as the perfect man to steady the ship at Old Trafford. His success at Real Madrid, where he won three consecutive Champions League titles, adds weight to the argument that Zidane could guide Manchester United back to the top of European football. Although there has been no official confirmation from the club about their interest in Zidane, his connection to the players and staff during his visit was clear. Zidane has previously been linked to other high-profile managerial positions, but the allure of Manchester United might be too tempting to resist, 
especially with the rich history and global fan base of the club. For Ten Hag, this development adds more pressure to turn around Manchester United's fortunes. Zidane's looming presence serves as a reminder that the club has options should the current season continue on its shaky trajectory. However, for now, Ten Hag remains in charge, and it will be up to him to silence the speculation and regain the confidence of the board and fans. For the more, for the A, Manuel Ugarte sends clear message to Eric Ten Hag ahead of potential Man United debut. Manchester United's deadline day signing from PSG is pushing for a start next Saturday as the Reds travel to Southampton. Manchester United's new signing, Manuel Ugarte, showed Eric Ten Hag exactly what he can offer his new team as he put in a masterclass in Uruguay's World Cup qualifier versus Paraguay. The former PSG man arrived at Old Trafford on deadline day after a prolonged saga that threatened to stretch United's patience. Eventually, United managed to shake hands on an initial fee of £42 million for the midfielder, but this figure could rise to £50.5 million, depending whether or not certain clauses are reached. Ugarty was in attendance last Sunday as he watched his new teammates put in a horror performance to lose 3-0 to Liverpool at Old Trafford. The 23-year-old's direct competition for a place in the starting lineup, Casemiro had a particularly difficult afternoon, as he made two mistakes which led to two goals. He was substituted at halftime for youngster Toby Collier, in a strong statement by Ten Hag. Ahead of the Premier League's return next weekend, all eyes are on the manager to decide whether or not to give Casemiro another chance or choose to trust Ugarte. Overnight, Ugarte did little to harm his chances of being picked at St. Mary's Stadium as he produced a brilliant performance in defensive midfield. While Casemiro lacked some spatial awareness in defeat to Liverpool last weekend, Ugarte looked in his element just in front of the back line as he helped deal with Paraguay's press. Ugarte was also doing his bit to prevent counterattacks too, putting in some impressive last-ditch tackles to evade dangerous opportunities for the opposition. While the game ended goalless, the midfielder will be pleased with his contributions that lasted 79 minutes in total. This display will no doubt cause a headache for Ten Hag ahead of the clash with the Saints next Saturday. Manuel Ugarte has wasted no time in making his intentions clear to Manchester United manager Eric Ten Hag as he edges closer to his potential debut for the club. The Uruguayan midfielder, signed from Paris Saint-Germain on transfer deadline day, has been vocal about his desire to make an immediate impact at Old Trafford. In his first few training sessions with the Red Devils, Ugarte displayed the tenacity and physicality that have become his trademarks. Known for his tough tackling and ability to break up play, he brings an added layer of security to United's midfield, a trait that Ten Hag has been keen to reinforce. With United enduring a rocky start to the season, Ugarte's arrival has come at a critical time and the player is eager to show what he can bring to the team. Ugarte's message to Ten Hag is simple. He's ready. Speaking to the media shortly after his arrival, Ugarte expressed his confidence in his ability to adapt quickly to the Premier League's intensity. I'm here to help the team, he said. I know what the manager expects from me and I'm ready to give everything on the pitch. Ten Hag has been careful in introducing new players into his setup, but Ugarte's fiery approach might force the Dutch manager to accelerate his plans. With crucial matches coming up, including fixtures against top Premier League opposition and European outings, Ugarte's skill set could be invaluable. His ability to control the tempo, intercept passes, and provide defensive cover would relieve pressure on players like Bruno Fernandes and Casemiro, allowing them more freedom to influence the game offensively. The anticipation surrounding Ugarte's debut is growing among United fans, who are hopeful that he can help solidify a midfield that has looked vulnerable at times this season. His previous performances for PSG and Sporting Lisbon have shown his ability to rise to the occasion in big matches, and United supporters will be eager to see if he can replicate that form in the red shirt. As Ten Hag looks for solutions to turn United's fortunes around, Manuel Ugarte stands ready.
a player hungry to prove himself and to deliver the kind of performances that can transform Manchester United's midfield into a more formidable force. Manchester United's new signing, Manuel Ugarte, gave Eric Ten Hag a glimpse of the quality he can bring to Old Trafford with a standout performance in Uruguay's World Cup qualifier against Paraguay. In what many have described as a midfield masterclass, Ugarte dominated the center of the park, showcasing his ability to control the game, break up play, and distribute the ball with precision. From the opening whistle, Ugarte was everywhere. His tenacity in tackling, ability to anticipate danger, and calmness on the ball were on full display as he orchestrated Uruguay's midfield with confidence and maturity. The 22-year-old's ball-winning ability was evident as he made several key interceptions. For the more, 